Disinfection. Part 2. Measures to be followed when diseases occur. 1. Improve water quality by reducing the feed rate. The water quality also is maintained by feeding with medicated feeds like antibiotics, but it is not suggested to be used in RAS system. 2. Decrease the temperature to restrict the growth. When the temperature of the system is reduced, it creates an unsuitable condition for bacteria to grow in the medium and so the crabs self-resist the diseases. 3. CFU count, colony forming unit. The CFU count must be calculated by isolating the bacteria from the medium. This helps to find the bacteria type and how to treat it. 4. UV check. Check the functionality of UV light. Its span will be 10,000 hours that is greater than 10 months in the RAS system. UV sterilization. In every RAS system, UV process is implanted in order to destroy the DNA of all forms of pathogens and bacteria. Here in the UV process, we are using is UVC rays which have a spectrum value of 200 to 280 nanometers. Typically, some action is needed to destroy the bacteria by transmitting 1 watt of UV per cubic meter of water in approximate. UV transmittance. Chart O show the relationship between UV dose and UV transmittance. The above chart shows that when the UV transmittance reaching its maximum percentage then the UV dose decreases. UV transmittance is the measure of UV light that passes on to the water to remove the pathogens. For example, if suspended solids are not purified completely. Then the impurities float on the surface of the water. Now just imagine that you are trying to disinfect, remove the pathogens from the water by using UV light. The suspended solids don't allow the light to pass through the water and it cannot kill pathogens in it. In these cases, UV transmittance doesn't work efficiently. One form most commonly used for inducing transmitters is BDP benzodiperolidone. The other reason for the reduction of UV transmittance is an excessive availability of organic substances. Common problem. One of the common problems in UV reactors is calcification. If you are running the recirculating system in the saltwater condition, there are more chances for calcification to occur. The calcification doesn't allow the UV light to penetrate in the water and it reduces the density for transmitting the light. It also reduces the actual dose of UV light. Thus, it reduces the capacity of UV light to kill bacteria in the water. At the low resident time, maintain the dosage of the light correctly for best results. So that the UV transmittance is very effective in previous processes such as solids removal and biofiltration. How to operate UV light? Check sleeves and deposition regularly. Replace the UV lamp every 8 months. Effectiveness of UV is based on resident time, contact time. Most commonly you have to check the sleeves first to make sure of any form of deposition and calcification that reduces the effectiveness of UV transmitters. We have to check the validity of UV transmitters and replace it for every 8 months, i.e. 1 to 2 months before it expires. Calculating the resident time and the speed of the fluid through the reactor is important. By increasing velocity or increasing flow rate of the reactor, the contact time reduced and it doesn't work efficiently in killing the pathogens completely from the water. For the best result of UV. Ozonation and UV equals best result. For gaining the best results, using both UV light and ozonation is very important to destroy all the pathogens in water. Ozonation is an advanced oxidation process in which very reactive oxygen, ozone O3, with high electrical voltage is produced to destroy a wide range of organic compounds and microorganisms. Ozonation is toxic, but UV light can degrade it. Using both ozonation and UV process together will definitely remove the harmful microbes from the water. 
but on our farm we are using only uv light of 90 watts and replacing it every 8 months in some filtration process microfiltration is included as an additional method before using uv transmitters in our farm we are using protein skimmers to remove suspended solids and then introducing the water into the uv system to assure the performance of uv light in destroying the bacteria